secret. Led by Papi. Congo Esports. You hear the team come to the true sight thing? Nice. <laughs> just like, just like Aoi nice. said it would go. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes Master Aoi, thank you. We shall win this for you. Like, they are just, it's polar. Thank you very much, James. Yes, we're here and we're ready. Live from Singapore for the grand finals of the International 11. Tundra up against Team Secret. I'm Oni Pixel and I'll be joined for this draft by the one and only Seb, No Tail and Fog. So prominent people have started to learn how to like play versus it, but... And he goes, they will right but hey, I, isn't this ah. Lich punch against the Tidehunter? Right. There we go. Some fantastic words there from Rezo. Nice. Smiles all around as well. Very much ready Love for it. the game. We'll see how ready he is, though, because uh, Tundra, they're going to find him here for this first bit of action. Trapped out by the shots, or maybe not. No, we can't quite get around. Doesn't matter. No. Right. He's going to get hooked underneath the tower. Chris gets the angle, but Saxa was the first to get that first kill. Gets first blood for Saxa. But in return, Nisha will be able to pick up the kill on, onto nine there off the back of that excellent hook. He could constantly be getting, getting on on. Yeah, we'll have that ring of health right. coming out to him, so likely to... Be consistently in a position where his health's a bit higher. Saxa will find himself he on top of Chrysalis. Close. They're trying to get aggressive on towards the punch. Saxa has the stick charges at the ready. Chrysalis, he's going to get the kill before he goes down. So they push for push for the kill there on the carry. I imagine something. Chrysalis trying his best to, to trade, but especially when it's 33, that's the one on top of him. Not at a point where Pudge just has enough damage to kind of bring down the tide. Tide's able to threaten them. Back up in the top jungle, Zayats is snaking. Snaking might be able to get this. Same time in the mid, Nisha. He's got a decent amount of mana to try and run down nine. Stick charges are there, though, and nine far enough under the tower to survive. But back in the jungle, snaking will win the battle of the supports. Oh. Yeah, we see that, that stat build for Snake is really working. Nisha. Very low around this mid lane. There's a punch. As Sax has come in to try and help out with the setup. He's got a bit of a bottle charge and a fair fire. It's not enough to keep him alive, though. Nine and Saxa take him down. Saxa coming out with some top moves already from his really intentional death bottom, helping out the power that Nine needs to get a kill. And now look at bottom. That physical damage. Crystalis is too much. Bushwhack. I mean, Saxa. He's in every single bit of place that, that they need him to be. And, oh, that's a big hit, of course, with that three points in anchor smash and the, the plays of attack on top of the face boost. That's a hefty right click coming out from 33 off the back of the anchor. Sold from 33, going for that Wraith Pact, more than likely rushing it. He's going to be able to keep his sustain down there, too. To top lane. Yes. An excellent what an angle. angle there for snaking, sneaking round through the trees. Catches Rezo by surprise. Wow. Tundra. Getting kills up and down the map right now. The idol is not quite enough to finish snaking off. Maybe they can still find him in the jungle. They can, and just off to the side of the lane. They will be able to take him down in return. But very much as fight ready as possible. Three heroes collapsing on both sides. Trying to, to get the chance to trap him in there with the shards. Won't quite find it. We'll see eight minute power in where it's going to be. It's going to be top of oh, the This one. time they'll be able to hold on to it. Nisha able to grab it. Snowball yes. coming out the way of Zayas. Connected only got set up for the stun for Nisha. He's ready to run down nine. Nine has got the help for Saxon. Saxon with a push right. Holds them back, but they'll still be able to run down nine. At this time, secret, they'll bring in the extra firepower required around this mid lane. They're going to tougher lanes. They've done excellent versus the Naga Siren farming perfectly fine versus the Enigma. Even getting that early kill is a big deal. So secret, they want to start getting a little more active. Early little smoke here from Nisha. Looking Feels to like join Zayat and Rezo up top around this point where level six is on nine for the Enigma. Rezo. Black hole if he finds the chance to turn and use it. Nine is going to try to go for it, but Rezo is ready. The six is there. Black hole comes out onto the two of them. Zayat and Nisha, they're in with the cleanup. Ooh. Tundra, they try and make that play. And another one. Now, Saxon's got to be careful getting himself back into the trees, back behind the tower, but Zayat, he's still sweeping Zayat's around. They may still down. find he's him. Under attack. See how much they want to try and search. It's going to be difficult to find him. He's pretty deep, but Nisha, very resilient, continues oh, he's to go him. further and further into the trees. They'll catch him as well. Three dead on the top lane. Tundra, the ones to start that play onto resolution. That incredible game. I believe he has the Vlad's finished. So maybe looking to start pressure this, pressuring this tower down here. Of course, he has that Ravage good to go. If he sees a chance to set up for a kill on Crystalis to get some extra help. They're going to toss back onto Snake King. Doesn't stand a chance there against the amount of damage they've got. Back down bottom. Having to hold back Crystalis. He's got yeah, things are close. So as like as Noto and Seb were saying, you know, the pace of the game for Secret, they probably want to accelerate things a little bit more. Tundra, whenever there's these low periods, they're pretty happy well, that they're not have. getting pressured. You're gonna see if they can take down Crystalis here with the three of them. See what sort of help he gets this time round. It doesn't look like there'll be enough to Damn save no. him as Tundra. They'll get the kill. They strike again when they know that it's still at this point where Secret.
the map. It's got very good. Yeah, the they have a very solid fight on their hands, no doubt about it. Saxa in good position. The scan Locked catches. By the moonlight. The scan as well catches the secret rotation. So maybe unlikely now that secret are going to be able to make this a sort of jump of any sort of level of surprise. Quick turn with the bushwhack. Big Make moves. sure that there's no further jump over towards Saxon. Saxon immediately ready to turn the trap sides in the shards. Sets up for both the arrow and the sharpshooter to bang on target. Take down the kill. That bird over commit versus secrets. Pretty tanky lineup. Zayats. Zayats. And as we've seen many times, you've got to be careful how you try and poke towards Tundra. When Nine's around, he's just trapping you in the shards every single time you step up alone. Nisha, taste it. Got that haste rune. We'll see if he's able to chase down anything with turn. Nice little sidestep there from Nine. Make sure that he doesn't get caught out. Hey, that is the thing as well, though, for Tundra. If they try and play with their ult secret, they'll very they'll much be ready it. to respond with their mm -hmm. own ultimates. Both teams having huge team fight ultimates to drop. We'll see in the middle, Nisha. And just a time again, he's on his own. They have bloodstone charges, but uh, yeah. Tundra, they're just able to blow him up. A bit of a, a rare situation there where Nisha was alone. At Tundra, they make sure they don't miss out on the opportunity. And Edge. This is a scary place. Tundra, they won't hesitate to dive if Nine's able to set up with the shards into the trees. He's going to try for it, see what he can find, and he finds him. It's a perfect trap. I'll get the bushwhack in as well. Rezo. Getting taken down behind his tier two. Once again, Nine just continuing to be bang on target every single time with these shards. And Deed so far, Secret not really being able to use the, the, the power of the punch. Now, Chrysler still very much behind here in the farm. And we see underneath the tower, Tundra will start poking at him, getting him pretty low. Chain Frost will be thrown out, but not too many bounces at all. And 33 is ready to go back in onto Crystal and Secret. At this stage of the game, they can't even protect that punch underneath their own tier two. Rezo jumps forward. They're looking towards nine, but nine what is forced down. down to the side. He's going to be able to step away. See if they can continue to try and get any further catch. Sides will be able to get the toss back onto nine, so they'll take him down. But, but look, very much, it, it's such a struggle here as we're seeing for Crystalis yep. under tier two. Secret, the rest of his team pretty close by. They couldn't help it. And they now, need to get more. Tundra, they're ready to try and pick more kills out of this here as they head into the jungle of Secret. Catch out, puppy. Ravage with 33. Puts an end to the life of Zayats. And Nisha has to step back. It's just him and Rezo on the retreat right now. Rezo? See if they can get any further setup. Rush from 33. Sharp shooter hit coming in as well. Respawns will be there. 22 minutes and there's only two flash sheep stacks. Never a position you want to be on the punch. But Crystalis, he's got Ags done. Let's see what he's going to be able to do with this. So around the mid there. Looking towards 33. This is not an easy kill. He's very tanky. Very, very tanky. And oh my back god. Okay. This one. There we go. I mean, they have to. I don't think they're getting that kill hey. if they don't then. They got it before he drops the pipe, before yeah. he drops the raid pack. So sure. I mean, getting him off the to. map is That's the only way they kill him. Yeah. Knowing that Tundra, they won't have the tide for the fight, but nonetheless, though, Tundra, they're still that farm that they'll definitely still go Ooh. for a quick kill. Bottom. Tied or not. More than enough damage, probably. There it is. And some Deso stacks for nine. A little bit perfectly. You can also dispel the boomerang buff, or debuff, that is, which amplifies all that damage. Nisha? This bottom tier two is so scary, surely. Here for secret, unless. They can ensure that Tundra put off from diving, and they will the get back. Chris, as he hits the hook, grabs back nine before Skeeter's able to do anything to save him. Him and his illusions, it's not going to be easy to deal with. Sort of the main way to deal with it in terms of the Pudge and the Lesh Rack. We know that Tundra, they can kill these heroes. It's underneath the tier two mid, they're looking towards Crystalis. Skeeter, he's ready to commit him. As they go right in on top of him. Nisha will turn up for the fight, but not able to make any sort of move in time to save, and Chrysalis goes down. And you see 33, he's ready to just waltz right underneath the tier two as well. Sides will jump up with the toss back. Chain Frost. They are getting nine pretty low, he's able to get the, the snowball off in time. Ravage there for 33 ensures the nine's got the space to step back. As Zayats will fall, the bushwhack from Saxa finishing him off. Secret trying their best to, to deal with this team fight. It's a blink. They need any type of follow-up. They need the big burst, right? If they catch one or two heroes in a black hole, they need absolutely everything. That's, on. that's a lot of weight on resolution. It is. He's got to do something incredible. We get the toss back here on the snaking, but Puppy's low. Rezo's going to use the black hole. It's only on one. Catch a snaking though, and the song's out. Tundra, they're able to reset the team fight. Puppy goes down. Zayat's also the ball. As they'll lose snaking, but they get to once again Tundra. Just proving at this stage to be almost impossible for Secret to fight into. Four heroes. Scan is going to catch them. 
Just they can get any sort of fight going here. It's not easy. There's no black hole to rely on. They're still taking straight into the fight. Eric Chris, as he walks for it. Snowball's going to be there for now. Gets him over towards Nisha. They're trying to step back, though. Nisha getting off a good amount of damage this Nisha. time. Nisha. on this sharpshooter. Cuts in. Takes down Zayas. Chris is trying to stand his ground with the dismember. The force nine back to safety. Rochelle falling low. Chris was also having to back away. It's 33. He's trying to finish off the Roche. Puppy and Nisha. They're stepping into the pit as well. But nine heads in Snowball. They get the ravage off the Sentai. Rezo tries to jump in. quickly out the hands of nine but secret they're getting chased back away from the pit very much felt like a bit of a last ditch attempt there from secret to try and stop tundra but they couldn't take the fight around the road but it's four dead nine continuing to chase we'll see pop bar in this game one 18k lead and it's also you know ravage it wasn't up until that exact moment Nisha. as well too stepping up in the mid they've got the arrow connection He's already used the Bloodstone here. Look at the Lotus Orb off in time. A bit of safety in his own snowball, but it's only going to tear him far away from the safety of any of his teammates as Nisha will get slowly but surely taken out. Poppy as well to fall. Zayat's caught out by the net. It's going to be three dead on the secret. We'll see how much further they want to play this one out here. Always playing around each other perfectly. Hook. Okay. Trying to get a first rate 33, but he has got the Ravage. Oh, pop it, and now there's the jump on oh. 9, straight in, takes him out, Rezobi has got the black hole up onto the two of them, but do they have the damage, Chain Frost out, the BKB is already out from 9, and Skeeter, it was a nice two-man black hole, but there wasn't any follow-up, and now Tundra, it looks like once again, they're setting up for the cleanup. they've got the catch on Tunisia, Bushwag will trap him against the tree, the arrow for Snake, it keeps him locked down, he'll try and step back, but Tundra, the four or five of them, chase him down, he'll go for the TP out, he won't he break cannot. it. Everybody dead on secret. Tundra, they're ready to resume, pushing down the mid. Trying to catch the creep wave or something. Trying to get some sort something. of a distraction, you know, take Tundra away from the push. But the waves. some time. The waves are all in, though. She bought him Anisha. Might be in a Ooh. bit of trouble once again. We'll see Puppy coming with the vibe but that sharp shot there from, from Saxon. Didn't finish him off. They'll go with the snowball over towards Crystalis. Chain Frost comes out from Puppy. Crystalis commits it with the BKB onto 33, but 33 is just so There's tiny. no damage. He barely cares at all that this Pudge is on top of him. Another hook from Crystalis will catch on, but 33. Oh. Oopsie. Oh, it wasn't the cleanest combo, but at this point, Tundra, they don't even need to hit these combos. They'll just back off and reset. It's going to anyway. be a five man and it's got to catch them before they press BKB. Yeah. And before Wraith Pact or Piper What's now. What's We'll See? find nine in the trees. He gets the BKB, BKB off before the dismembers there. Sanctuary able to poke in from the side. He's playing the bushwhack. Chrysalis, he's getting low. Nine tries to chase him out. Chrysalis gets taken down. Nine caught by the fear. See at the side though, they're focusing Nisha. down Nisha. Nisha goes down, four stars to the side, nine. Caught by the avalanche, they will go it. down. Secret, able to find some sort of semblance of a trade there. They'll take out nine and Nice. They don't know what to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, relax, bro. Okay, hold him, hold him, hold him. Uh, I got my Vicky, I got Vicky, I got Vicky. Oh, well. It's a secret. 33's taking the tower by himself. He's I just mean, anchor smashing it. Yeah. He's got the talent. Chris, let's try for some sort of a hook. They can't stop him. I mean, what's his eyes? He's looking for a toss back. A nine in response immediately on top of him. And that's science gone. No buyback for him. Crystalis. He'll pop the BKB. He's got to use it to step back, get some sort of distance between him and the rest of the team. He's going to try and stand his ground on 33. And nine jumps in with a warrior's punch into the snowball. Overall, Nisha Rezo. He's going to go for the black hole. The so song is there. It's healing him. I mean, the black hole and damage oh. alone. Not enough to take him out through the BKB. Rezo's out. Does have a buyback, but even if he opts to do so, won't have a black hole to use. Tundra, they'll continue this push up towards the top lane. Taking down this set of barracks. A secret. We'll see if they go for one last move. Maybe hope that Tundra gets a bit close to their fountain, but Tundra, they don't mess around. They're not making any mistake. 33 pops the Ravage. Catches out Nisha and Crystalis. Crystalis getting low. He might just be able to reset this time as he is over towards the fountain. Actually able to live. Nisha also able to keep himself alive uh -oh. for now with the Lotus. Reflects the net, but 33 is getting in on top of him. No one else able to get Nisha away from Tundra's. He's out for 100 seconds. The tier four to go. They're on to the ancient. Wow. GG is called. And Tundra, they take this game one. A